There we go. So how do I draw Caitlyn, you may be asking. As you see some spoilers. Well, I start with a um, U, and then I did a hair. Like I science do these characteristics out of order, but this is usually how I do like distance shots. And I do some spikes like this. Maybe sometimes I'll curl the hair because my hair is curly. And yeah. Maybe make myself turned a bit. And I don't always get things right on the first try, but that's to be expected. It takes a while. Heck, my females used to like males for a long time, and it was so frustrating. I make girly looking men, and I make masculine women. <laughs> Right now, like for human Caitlyn, I just focus on the eyes. Sometimes I'll make really anime-like eyes. And the casual expression. Add a little fang for cuteness. Because I like to draw cute things. And gory things at times. Uh, maybe add a little bit of wolf eyes. And then for like the making her part wolf is to add the ears, so I just spike it from the hair. Signs I look at dog things. I know sometimes when I make wolf ears it looks more like rabbit ears or uh, looks a little too long. And of course my glasses, my new glasses. I used to make them rounded because my old glasses were circular, but my new glasses are more square. Adding more fur. I mean, you could do anything. Like usually, when I um, when I plan to draw clothes and characters, like you know, people usually draw like, the characters kind of naked and then they add the clothing on top. That's kind of something similar I do with um, my characters. All the signs I skip that step. I'm really bad when I do that. I signs skip the step. And, uh, my camera's going all over the place. And sometimes my characters look a bit small. I, my character sizes are always inconsistent. And so is like expressions. I might change the hairstyle to make a more serious Caitlyn like up here. See Caitlyn here. I, I change style depending on the mood. <laughs> And usually I don't make this small of a width. I usually make her uh, more thicker. Yes, I do. Oh yeah, the whole putting the hands behind the back thing, that's uh, probably a common a common thing a lot of do when they don't want to draw hands. Or in my case, it's kind of the uh, make Caitlyn look a bit more suspicious, but... Yeah, me, I was kind of the type that, eh, I don't care how cartoons my hands look, I'm going to draw it like that anyway. <laughs> and then, of course, doing the dog tail here. Sometimes I don't draw feet because I am very terrible at it. But when I do draw feet, I, I just don't care, dang it, uh, sorry for my uh, self for being unprofessional. I just try to make it a bit long here, and I basically look at feet of human or other cartoon characters, make it kind of like a, a rectangle with spikes because Kate is part wolf in this scene. And then sometimes if I wanted her to be like on a wall or do the bent leg thing. And my shadows, I think, I never failed arts, but uh, 
I think one problem I had with one of my art projects was my shading was not realistic. And that's because I do a lot of mood shading. Like I, by mood shading, I mean that uh, I shade a character based on mood. I do like the Japanese style, or sometimes even the cartoons where I just like put shadow here to make them look a bit more suspicious, or extra cute in this case. I mean, what looks evil about this? Nothing looks so sinister, right? Right. <laughs> Very sinister. Uh, anyway, that's kind of how I draw my character. I know that was probably the longest and most idiotic way to explain it, but this is one style I use. Other styles is like when I make things more realistic. Like that's being a cartoonist, the more realistic style, the the grim dark style. And I just have a variety of styles. Uh, this concludes this lesson. Um, maybe I'll retry this video again later, but that's it for now. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.